Hello, this is Nate. This is Angie. And we just finished watching Open Water, starring absolutely no nobody. One. So, Angie, <laughs> what did you think of Open Water? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. Um, it was a whole lot of nothing. There was a whole lot of nothing, and to. Quick disclaimer here. I didn't want to watch this movie. You you talked me into watching it. So I guess I'll share my thoughts first. Um, first of all, from the very beginning, you can tell that this was a very, very low-budget film. It looked like someone took their iPhone, turned on the recorder, and just started recording random nonsense. And this eventually... It's, it looks like... It started out as an amateur porn film, and somebody decided to turn it into a movie about sharks. You know, I mean, it, it's very amateurish. You know, the, the, the film techniques are very bad. The shots are really bad. Everything is shot close up, like right up on the actors' faces. Which gets very disconcerting. I think you made this comment while we were watching it. It felt like we were stalking these people. I did. I felt like I was like hiding in the bushes or something and like videotaping them without them knowing. Very uncomfortable feeling, which might be the point, but it's they're filming such mundane scenes, you know, them getting in a car, them driving down the road, them brushing their teeth. Filming it in a very uncomfortable style, it didn't make me feel tense. It just... I just felt annoyed. It just annoyed me. Like, it, it, it they would do close-ups of, like, the ground or their baggage. Yeah, or, or their tires. Yeah. Just close-up. Like, oh, no, you're not close enough. And then when they weren't close-up, they would zoom in, like, really close. So, like, the shot would start wide and they'd just keep getting closer and closer which, again, is very annoying. Right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> then we get to the meat and potatoes of the movie, which is pretty much just them floating around in the ocean. Which, okay, there were points where it was kind of tense, but by and large, it was, was, nothing. It was very boring. It's sad that I think one of my favorite parts of the movie was when you couldn't see, like, 75% of it. Yeah. Because it was pitch black. Yeah. But that was my favorite part of the movie, I think. The one part of the movie where it's it's nighttime, and they're freaking out, and there's sharks everywhere, and you can't see anything. It's literally just a black screen, and occasionally the lightning will go off, and you can see flashes, but it's pretty much just a black screen. But that's when I actually felt, like... I don't know, I guess kind of tense, like, wow, that's such a bad situation, like, I can't even imagine. And I will say I actually really liked how they ended the movie. I don't know why, but I really did. It just showed such desperation. Yeah, it was a very... I actually really twisted. liked how they ended it, though. It that's the best part, too, I should say. It was a very twisted ending, and yeah, I, I, I like it, too. But it doesn't save this movie. No. It by no means <laughs> does that interesting ending save this god awful movie. Not at all. Not even close. Okay, but I just want to say I did not want to watch it because I thought it was going to be an absolutely amazing movie. Yes, you did. No, I did yes, not. Yes, you did. No. You you no. thought this was going to be an Oscar. No, winner. it was. No, that was not why I wanted to watch it. I okay. just want to throw that out there. So what do you think of the performances? Did what anybody performance? did anybody stand out? I actually really liked the tour guide from the very beginning because he actually seemed like he was a real tour guide and they just hopped on a boat and filmed him without him knowing. <laughs> it, did. it did. Like, even the tourists, they're just kind of yeah. like, oh, excuse me. Uh, I needed. Oh wait, no, that's not my seat. Yeah, I'm, like they just I'm, hopped on a boat and was like, "Okay, I'm gonna film this, but let's not tell anybody it's for a movie." Yeah. Yeah, just just let's. So maybe maybe they really were just stalking <laughs> these people. I did like the guy better than the girl. Marginally, yes. <laughs> I liked his little freak out moment in the water. And she showed very like zero personality throughout the whole thing. 
And then she starts blaming him for the whole ordeal. Like, wow, really? You're going to blame him like he wanted to be left out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> no, but I kind of understand when you're put in a situation like that that... You would. <laughs> but I would probably blame you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, at the end, what would you give open water? Like a 1.5, maybe a 2? I'd give it a 1. Really? I'd give it a 1. You know, that interesting ending, it's about the only thing about this movie that I liked. So, and that didn't do nearly enough to bring it out of the gutter. It was just horribly filmed, horribly acted. I get it's a low-budget film, but my God, man. What yeah, other? yeah. I guess, you know, taking into account the whole beginning of it, I'll stick with my 1.5 then, because the beginning was horrible. But sharks do scare me, so there was a couple of moments when I... Uh, sharks are scary, and I don't think... I felt a little uncomfortable. I don't think I've ever way. seen so many sharks in one place in a movie before. Not since Sharknado have I seen so many sharks <laughs> in one place. All right, that'll do it for us. This is Nate. This is Angie. You have a good one.